70% commission on it. I just spent the entire time organizing books because it was buy three books, get one free day, I guess. There was a lot of people shopping for books while I was over there. That was eight until 12, I did that. And then we took the kids in there and went through shopping. I didn't get a chance to really look at the clothes. There was a few books that I saw that I wanted to pick up. So we did that. We picked out some nice clothes for Luna, got the books that we wanted, and then we didn't end up really getting any toys. We went, had lunch at Habit Burger. After that, it was really delicious. We went home, we did a little bit of yard work. I pruned some trees and bushes. Dan tried to get his mower started. He still can't get it started. Um, and then he cleaned the garage. So the garage is clean, which is great. And then we went inside and had steaks for dinner last night. That was the whole day. Just relaxed the rest of the night. But Luna went right to sleep. She slept most of the night and then so she woke up in the middle of the night crying. I picked her up, put her next to me. So she stopped crying and went back to sleep. And then I also changed her diaper and she stopped crying. But then at six o'clock in the morning, she's awake and just kind of like making cooing sounds on top of me. Like she's just leaning on top of me like this. And she was just kind of cooing and starting to wake up and trying to wake me up. And then all of a sudden my arm gets like really warm and wet. <laughs> Luna taking her diaper off. She figured out the snap things. So she took her diaper off at six o'clock in the morning and peed on me. <laughs> That's the first time she's done that. Um, and then when I changed her diaper, just like 20 minutes ago before we left, she undid the snap right after I put it on her. So I know that she's smart enough now to undo her diaper. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on her for that because seriously, so that was like a rude awakening because, you know, I wasn't gonna lay there and pee. And so I got up and took a shower. And so today is the last day of the sale. So Dan saw a rickshaw there yesterday that he wanted to buy, but it was $50, kind of expensive. I'm sure that they're really expensive new, but there's a limit to what you want to spend on a used item. He wants to go look and see because today is the half price sale. We're gonna see if it's there. If it's not, then we're gonna just leave and uh, get breakfast and then he saw a rickshaw at Goodwill that was dirty, but it was way cheaper. So we're gonna see if that one's there, and if it is, we'll buy that and then he'll clean it up. Then we have to go to Lowe's and get some pavers because I'm gonna put in a raised bed by the deck, and I'm anxious to get that started because it's already practically May, and I haven't done much other than just general yard maintenance is all I've really done, and I'm ready to do a project. I'm gonna get that, and. We're also gonna order some fill dirt from the local dirt people, whatever. Peninsula Soil is the name of it. Oh, the babies need food. They need uh, baby food. We're gonna go grocery shopping for a little bit. And then I think that's all for today. And then tonight at eight o'clock, I have to go pick up all my unsold items from the sale. So that'll be a long night. Just the fact that I have to go back out at basically the kids' bedtime and pick up the stuff. And it's a really long wait because there's a lot of consigners, but anyway, we're gonna go ahead to the sale and see if that rickshaw is still there. found a bunch of books that were from my elementary school teacher she put books in the sale and I didn't realize it until well that was the school I went to but I always check the books and uh, I was looking in it and that's her name so like I started looking at them more and I was like wait a second these are all books from when I was in kindergarten so I picked up a bunch of them and then they were all like 50 cents each and then uh, this one the Pacific Northwest, you know I love those kind of books. I saw this one yesterday, I wanted to buy it, but I passed on it, but at this time I decided to pick it up. Really liked it. So, now we're gonna go in Goodwill. Mom, get it. I'm not gonna buy it. Why not? It was a green tag yesterday. So do you wanna go in or do you just wanna leave? I see you sign the mom. been here yesterday. Okay, guess we're leaving. <laughs> we have to go to Lowe's, I think, next. We're gonna go to Lowe's, pretty sure. We also need to go to Home Depot because that's where Dan got his mower and the mower is not starting. Bring us so. some food. Oh, we're getting food first. So my coffee, and this coffee, and this gum, and... Apple cookie! Yeah, we're just 
just waiting on our food. It's got paint cookie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Luna's outfit today looks so cute. She's got her little jacket, and her bib, cute me shirt, pink pants. She's just looking great today. Hi Luna. How much money for this thing? Yep. 300, 400 bucks, 350, 400. Compared to a bike or a stroller, that's insane. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> that's so funny. I got a hand sandwich this time. Yeah. 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 inside looking at toys at Target. We're trying to get some ideas for Luna's birthday. We haven't bought anything for her yet, but we're trying to get ideas. Everybody wants to see Spider-Man. But she's looking at the Barbies. Being really cute. <laughs> she got really attracted to this one. It kind of looks like Mama with the big glasses. But now she's talking to Daisy Johnson. Maybe just a dude close up for Luna. Can't see Spider-Man. Oh. oh, they have Beauty and the Beast. Can I see Spider-Man? Yeah. Then they get into Legos, which she's too old for. That's cute. Luna got really stressed out, so I made her a bottle. I just got myself a triple mocha because I'm starting to feel drowsy. You got Spider-Man. You shape him. Yeah. I was just looking at this meme. I thought it was like so relevant right now. So we're at Lowe's now. Getting the Rocks. I have a regular cart that I'm pushing these two crazy kids in. And Dan is going to get the other kind of cart, the, the flat bottom. I'm sorry, Rory. The flat bottom cart to get the rocks. This is the one you want, right? Look 
the plants? You can the plants. All the okay. plants. Go the plants. You have to stay in there though, because I can't chase you. So I'm building a flower bed around the deck. Right now, underneath the deck, it just looks like a, a pit. I, it's, it looks bad. So I want to put a flower bed around it and then plant a dahlia garden. But dahlias don't take up a lot of space on the actual soil. So I want to find some like annuals or just something colorful to cover the bottom with because the dahlias aren't going to get very tall until July. I want it to look very colorful around the deck. So I'm kind of looking around at the annuals like these ones, like the um, geraniums. These African daisies are also really Mom. pretty. And then the geraniums, I really like those too, even though they get like that. Um, they're just really colorful and beautiful for a while. These are dahlias. This is basically what I want to put in the garden in a row. I want to have a row of these, but they're going to be really tall. So I want to put these and then have these maybe on the edges? I don't know. I'm just debating right now. These African daisies and these African daisies. I'm gonna need to get Dan's opinion, I think. Okay, so I kind of have a plan. I talked to Dan and I showed him all the flowers and he really likes the red geraniums. He likes the purple African daisies. I think I'm actually gonna go for like a red and peach theme and I'll still buy the purple African daisies and put them somewhere else in the garden, but I just kind of can't get behind the purple and the red. It looks too Valentine's y for me. I'll put the purple somewhere else. I'll get two purples and then I'll buy like three of the peach ones and then a couple of these red geraniums. And I think that will look really good. I'll show you guys really quick. So our pavers are up there waiting. And then we ended up getting the smaller bricks for the back of the flower bed. And then we got purple African daisies, the peachy African daisies, one purple African daisy, and then five geraniums. Those are going to go in your new flower bed. Thank you. These kids have been losing their patience with us. So we're going to get out of here and go get lunch. I cut it. Here. Okay. So we're going to spend pruning everything with Luna's new gardening. Everything is loaded up. You wanna go get some lunch? I think Luna's ready for lunch. Now you want pizza? Okay. So I got Dylan James, Dan got Dylan James, and then Dan just has a blue room. Luna is asleep over there. Yeah. Yeah, she's missing pizza. out on pizza.
Giuliani at Mod Pizza, which is just fantastic. He has only done that mm, twice, I guess. So, really proud of him for, he said to me that he wanted to go potty. And then I took him in there, put down the seat cover, set him on it, and he started peeing. So, he did great. We're almost home. Just filming it. Filming what? You backing up. Getting ready to start on this project. I've got my gloves on. These are like old gloves. I'm finding out that all of my gloves have holes in them. These ones, this this glove doesn't have any holes in it. This is my right hand, so I need this one to kind of not have holes. This one, the left-handed one, it's not in very good shape. It has a hole there, but the rest of it's okay. Um, I need new gloves like seriously, so I just want to show you guys really quick what I did two years ago I put in this Flower bed that's like gone crazy. It's doing really well. This is basically what we're doing but over here so I'm gonna have raised bed here and then Raised bed all the way along here So I'm gonna start kind of cleaning up down there so I can start putting bricks. I have a level to make sure the bricks are level, a digger tool, and a rake to straighten out the dirt once I, once I, it's just to make everything flat, so. So far, I just had to improvise with some rocks on that one because I didn't have a, the right size brick, so I did that, but that's gonna be covered up by dirt so you won't see it. That first part of the back wall is all done. Now I'm starting on this section. Not that much of it done. I had to improvise some rocks over here because it needs to be offset. But I'm going all the way down. sat up there by herself. <laughs> Thanks for unloading all those bricks. Got it. Luna is being so helpful. She's getting down in the dirt with me and helping me move the rocks. She's trying to pick this rock up. I just put it here and she's trying to move it maybe because she saw me moving it. She's getting dirty, <laughs> but that's okay. 
She's just so into it. I love seeing that. I love that she's interested in what I'm doing. Rory was the same way when he was a baby. Yeah. This is where I'm at. I've passed the halfway point. I've got a good chunk of this part of the wall up and then I'm working on this one at the same time. Take the camera, Rory. Right? Mm,